It is important when we talk about who God is, who we are, and what his plan is for us, to understand the connection that we have with God. Let's read a verse from James to start this analysis. James 3 verse 9 Therewith bless we God, even the Father, and therewith curse we men, which are made after the similitude of God. We see that we are made in the similitude of God, not made as God, but in similarity with him. The next verse we will turn to is in Genesis when God had made man, and then to a verse from Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians to compare. Genesis 2 verse 7, And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 23, and the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray, God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. We see that from the dust of the ground, God made our body. When God had breathed into man the breath of life, he gave spirit. Hebrew word ruach meaning breath, wind, spirit. After all that, man became a living soul, which is distinct within man from the other creatures God made. We are composed of body, soul, and spirit, and these three are one. When looking at who we are and our connection to God, we have to recognize that we are fallen from Adam, Genesis 5 verse 3, but in Christ we become the new man. Colossians 3 verse 10. Genesis 1 verse 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them.